Multiply decimals. I can find the place value of the product of two decimals mentally, and I can solve decimal multiplication problems. So let's draw our line down and let's write multiply. First, we're going to look at the decimal. 0 0.5 times 0 0.4. Or in other words, if we wrote them as fractions, you would write them how you say it. So as a fraction, it would be 5 tenths times 4 tenths. Now you can do that, but before you do, let's think about this for a second. If we took the top, and let's think, 5 times 4 is 20, and 100 times, or 10 times 10 is 100. So if you think about that, as a fraction, you really have 20 hundredths. So the place value of this answer should be in the hundredths place. So if I take 20, and I need it in the hundredths place, it would be right there. Point is 5 times 4 is 20. The place values are the tenths times the tenths, which gives me the hundredths place, or hundredths place, so it would have to be here. Let's see if that works if I really did this. Well, this can simplify down to 1 half. 4 and 20, well, four, 2 can go into 4, 5 can go into 20. So I'm left with 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10, or, whoops, 2 tenths, which is the same as 20 hundredths, which is this is the same. So it works. So let's look at this next one. So if we think of it the same way as 3 tenths times 6 tenths, well, what's 3 times 6 is 18. Tenth times tenth is hundredths. So this has to be in the hundredths place, which would be here, so 18 would work. So it would be 0 0.18. Let's think about this one. Before I even do the numbers, this is the hundredths times the tenths. So this should be in the thousands place, so tenths, hundredths, thousands. And now I have 25 times 3. 25 times 3. If you don't know, you might have to go to the side and do 25 times 3, but hopefully you know that's 75. Well, if I put 75 here, that would be 75 hundredths. I need 75 thousandths, so it would go like this. Let's look at one more. So again, I have the hundred or the thousandths times 1, which my decimal point would be in the thousandths place. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 15, 160 thousandths, so I can just fill that in. So that's one way to do it, to understand, the reason I'm having you do this is to understand the decimal place, what place value it will be in. But let's look at, most of these we can't write that way. So we're going to have to write them in vertical form. What I mean by that is this way. Now, unlike adding and subtracting, you do not line up your decimal point. In this case, the decimal points are lined up. Okay, so let's just get the rules down. We multiply if they're whole numbers, we count the number of decimal places, and we move the decimal back in. So, if we did this one, we would have 37 times 8. I don't even need to write the zero. I'm not lining up decimal places, I'm just old-fashioned multiplying. 8 times 7 is 56, so I put down the 6, carry the 5. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. Now, you can think of this as tenths times tenths, so my answer has to be in the hundredths place. Well, that would be tenths, hundredths, so that would be the 9 and the 6. Whoops. Or you can think of it as you count your place values. This was here. So that's 1, I move out, this is here, that's 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so I move it back in two spots, 1, 2, and my decimal point would go there. So that is why the procedure of moving it out and moving it back in works. So go ahead, I'm not really sure why that happened, but I want you to go ahead and try this next one. Again. Act like the decimal points aren't there and just look at it as a, as a whole number. This would be 12 times 74. I like to put my bigger numbers, in this case 74, because we took out the decimal point, times 12. You could definitely do it the other way. 2 times 4 is 8. 
4 times, or 2 times 7 is 14. I have to put a 0 to hold my place value. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 7 is 7. And then I need to add. So now I would add and get 8, 8, and 8. Using the procedure of how to do this, I'm, the decimal points would be here, so I'd move it out one time to make it a whole number. This one would be two times, because it would be right here, I'm sorry, one, two. So it needs to move back in three times. One, two, three. Or I can think of this as the hundredths times the tenths, so my answer needs to be in the thousandths place. And it is. All right, I'm going to have you get going on your worksheet.